Today we're hosting a group of attendees from the ASME Pressure Vessel and Piping Conference. We're going to demonstrate the hazards from an explosion, a high pressure system failure, and a jetting flammable gas release. So the folks that are here today are heavily involved in research and actual application of design principles for pressurized equipment. Most of them have never experienced or seen a failure of a pressurized system. So our demonstrations today are to educate them on the hazards that actually result from a failure of those systems. We're at the Wilfred Baker test facility, which was set up for us to support research and development and testing. We're actually gonna start with a presentation of a case study from an accident that occurred in a refinery due to failure of a pressurized system. And that'll place the other demonstrations in context. That will be followed by a demonstration test in our shock tube to show them what a blast load will do on a structural component by way of causing blast damage. A shock tube is a device that develops a blast wave to simulate the real accidental explosion, in our case, a large vapor cloud explosion. And with that device, we can create a blast wave like a large scale explosion accident and use that to test structural response. For example, we can set up wall systems like a real building and apply a blast load to see how that wall would respond. We can then work on design upgrades to see how we can improve the structural system to make it perform better. We also have a demonstration of a release from a piping system of a flammable gas. In this case, it will be propane. To show them what a small jetting release looks like, and then we'll ignite that release to show them what a jet fire looks like. And lastly, we're going to have a demonstration of a failure in a high pressure system. That would be a system that's over 10,000 PSI. We want to show them what the hazards are from projectiles or fragments that are launched from high pressure systems. And they're quite impressive velocities when you have a system that's over 10,000 PSI. We run tests, I think up to about 40,000 PSI now to quantify the hazards from a failure in a high pressure system, specifically the projectile or fragment hazards of pieces being thrown. That data is used to uh, design protective enclosures to ensure that personnel who are working around high pressure systems are protected in the case of an accidental failure of a high pressure system. We, we really enjoy having groups come through and have these demonstrations. I, I personally find it very um, satisfying to host them, to watch their reactions to the hazards, and to see how they really um, wake up to the magnitude of hazards that can really exist in a system like this. Ultimately, we'd like to improve safety in all of the communities that are dealing with pressurized systems. And by educating folks on the potential hazards, we hope they're more diligent in doing their job. Their job in designing the equipment, their job in installing the equipment, operating the equipment, and maintaining the equipment.